Hello everybody, I am Oak Forest Tiger and today we are opening a little bit differently. Uh, this, as you can see on your screen, is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. But this, ju this isn't just a regular Kakarot, this is actually the gameplay of the card game that has been updated into it. And I have gotten into this game uh, just, well, basically overnight. <laughs> it is crazy, crazy addicting. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, the, I'm just gonna be showing off some uh, gameplay of it right here and right now. Now, if you don't know how to play this game, too bad! I didn't plan that far ahead. I just wanted to post this. Alright, so, uh, this is a previous video, I mean a previous game that I played before, so I'm, I am talking over it. So what's going down here is, uh, well, I have no guard cards on the field, so the enemy has the ability to attack me directly. So, now it is my turn. And this Ginyu Frog right here is in fact a guard, a guard card, English, and I will be playing that. I do believe I'll be playing that, but I'll use my Vegeta to take out uh, his Kui, I think that was, and play down the Ginyu card. Now I got many options here, well not really many options actually. <laughs> oh no! Alright, I this is a little difficult. First time me doing this. Alright, so he's got a Goten um on his field and I have a defense Ginyu Frog on my field. And he's going to play down a Kui now. Although cards that are played on the cards played on their turn are not able to attack, if you understand what I'm trying to say here. He's gonna use his Goten to get rid of my Ginyu, and he has more health, so his Goten will survive. And his Kui and his Goten can't attack right now because they've just been played on the field. He's going to break his bank, which is a special mechanic in the game I might explain later. And he broke it in order to play an uh, extra Kui. And now it is finally my turn. So let's see what I'm going to do here. What will be my course of action going forward? I am not good at uh, <laughs> talking over previous, previous gameplay. Oh, first time doing it. Anywho. Alright, this is a Roshi card. This is an event card that let, allows me to bring forth a SP card from my XP deck, which you can only have 5 cards in your XP deck, and it also gives it the ability Swift, which allows it to attack while it on the same turn that it is played, but you can only attack a, another fighter, not the person directly. So I'm going to use that to take out one of his Queens, one of the, the two that he has, and uh, well that's about all I could do so I end my turn. As, the, as you may have noticed every turn we each build up uh, energy in that little cir that yellow circle in the top right and bottom left corner corners. So it's his turn and he's thinking oh all right that's going to be an event card that is able to deal 7000 damage to any card on my field. So he gets rid of my Vegeta and is able to attack me directly. Most unfortunate. Alright, so he's yep, gonna do all that damage. Oh no. And it's gonna be my turn now. Now I have five energy to work with, and I'll spend one to send out Videl, and the other four to send out this Gohan, which is a guard, guard card. And end my turn, because cannot attack on this turn that they are summoned. His turn now. This Gohan is what's protecting me from taking damage because he cannot attack me directly until he gets through my Gohan. So let's see what he shall do. And as you can see um, on the top middle and top bottom those are our characters and our health bars. So he's gonna use his Roshi actually to bring forth an SP card from his SP deck. And then he's going to yeah clash his Kui with my Gohan taking out my Gohan. Now he can choose to attack me directly with Goten, which is exactly what he was going to, exactly what he will do. He could have attacked my Videl, but he opted to just deal some damage on me. Oh no! My bad, actually. He's going to, yeah, use that card to finish off my Videl. And it's not looking too good for me, but uh, let's see how, how I come back from this, if, if I do. Hmm... Now, I really like the deck that I've constructed because I do have this Go Tanks right here. This is my pride and joy right here, and you'll find out why pretty soon later on in the video. 
But for now, I have to find a way to uh, slow him down. So I'm going to bring forth Cell. Now, Cell is a very special character. This second form Cell. Oh, how am I going to explain all this in one go? So what I just did is, because I have, if you look to your to the bottom left of your screen, you'd see those that blue, purple, green, and yellow squares there. You'll see that I have one of those build up. And because I had that one, it gives Cell this extra ability to basically KO one of his characters while also being summoned onto the field. And that's what Cell just did. But uh, this only applies to characters that are level 4 or lower. That's why his cell did not was not able to do what my cell just did because my cell is on level 5. So on his turn he's going to attack me directly and it's going to be my turn. Like I said, uh, it's it's a it's it, it's a pretty easy game to get the hang of. You probably already know how to play this game. Uh but ju I was just explaining just in case. So it is my turn again and I got me my cell against three of his cards, what will I do first? What to do, what to do? Ah yes, this card I have here lets me draw a card. If it was a level five or higher I believe, I get to draw again, but nope, I got this. Which is pretty handy actually. The Roshi card that lets me uh, bring forth an SP card, but um, I'm a little, right here, right now I'm seem to be uh, planning out my strategy. I'll be taking out my cell to take out his little SP card there, and I'll break my bank, which you, uh, if you don't know what's happening, ah, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get the gist of it later on. Oh, oh, oh yes, I play my Gotenks. Now Gotenks is an amazing character, because if I have two green build up, it adds 80,000 to my health and attack. So I played down the go the go tanks. Did I say Gohan before? I meant to say go tanks. I played down the go tanks and Krillin, and my fee, my my team is ready to deal some damage. Right, do now, as you can see from my my go tanks, I could basically two shot him if I get a direct attack, but he's gonna go ahead and attack me directly, all while also playing a Super Saiyan three Goku, which is quite powerful, level seven card in its own right. But now it is my turn, and I need a way to protect myself from his onslaught. Because if I have no guard, car guard, guard cards on my side, and it's his turn, he's going to be able to finish me off by attacking me directly. So I have to either find, play a guard card or get rid of the most hard-hitting ca cards he has. So I have, um, yeah, I'm going to be using an SP card this turn. And I'll be playing my Krillin, which gives an additional 10,000 attack to every other character on my field. And let's see how I shall calculate my next line of attack. I think I'm gonna use, yep, gonna probably use Gotenks or Tank Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Get him out of there, because he can <laughs> one shot me if it's his turn. Then I'm gonna have to get rid of that cell as well, cause he too can one shot me. The Goten cannot one shot me, cause all he has is five. I mean, whoa, a thousand attack. Oh, but I am going to get rid of him as well with my Krillin. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just basically clearing his field. I'll get rid of my SP Krillin, which will also cause my 1,000 bo boost to go down, and then finish up by playing Vegeta. So now he has nothing on his side of the field. He has full health, but he has nothing protecting him at the moment. Just look at oh okay he's gonna use he's gonna use that to do a thousand dam seven thousand damage. Bear with me to one of my cards. Get rid of my Vegeta. He's gonna he's got a card there and is Oh itself Oh, he's gonna use that to get rid of my Krillin. So see, like I said, once you have Fercel's card, once you have that blue energy, at least one, you could do damage to another card on the enemy field. Now I got a guard guard card Gohan right here that could protect me from being directly attacked. Uh Yeah, I think I think I would I'll play that. I definitely would play that. Um, oh, yep, yep, there I go. 
So now I'm protected and safe from his cell for at least one turn. And I can attack him directly with Gotenks. There goes half his health. <laughs> Gotenks is absolutely powerful. And I can also play 18. Obviously. There's this. I've done math. Uh, yes. So there. I've played out all my cards. And he's playing another Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Along with a Vegeta. But only his cell can attack right now. And thanks to my Gohan, I'm protected thanks, thanks to his gu guard ability. So with a, he has no other options, it is my turn and I can simply attack him directly with my Gotenks and win the game. Yeah, yeah, this is why I love Gotenks, he is the clutch, the clutch, my MVP in my deck. You cannot contest with Gotenks, my friends. And that is how I won a beautiful match in a Dragon Ball Z the card game. Oh yes, this game is amazing. Yep, that's all I got for you now. I'll see you in the next one.